Hi everyone, today I'm going to be discussing about these categories and lists that I've been talking about for so long so I thought I'd finally share them with you uh, because well you know I've come to the stage where I have begun thinking of packing and I have stopped adding things to my list and if you've seen my last video you'll probably also know that I split my list into categories so now I know exactly uh, what to take and how much of what to take. <clears throat> So um, I usually split my list or categorize my list by clothes, which is, I guess, the most important thing when you're traveling. So whenever you're on vacation, uh, I think the first thing that you will uh, probably think of is what all to take with you in terms of clothes. So I will make a list of uh, each and everything that I will be taking down to, uh, you know, the color of socks that I'll be taking as well. And that kind of gives me like a visual of um, the, kind of the clothes that I'll be taking. Um, and I also follow this rule where uh, if I want to avoid overpacking, I will pick one uh, top and one bottom for two days of vacation so I can mix and match things and uh, make a bunch of combinations. Um, that way you look very fresh and new in every picture of yours and you're not carrying too much of weight. Uh, besides my clothes, I will also be t thinking of toiletries um, and what we usually do when I'm traveling with friends and if we're sharing a room, we just split our toiletries between ourselves. We're not really brand conscious in most of the toiletries that we're using, so um, it's okay with us. We'll just get one toothpaste and all, all of us will share. Uh, we could share our shampoo because, again, I'm not very particular about what shampoo I'm using unless somebody else has that thing. Uh, we'll share uh, a, you know, a moisturizer. Uh, usually we all end up using the same kind of uh, brand, so I guess it's okay um, basically just split the toiletry so that everyone gets to carry uh, one or two items and still does not have to carry multiple things of the same sorts between the whole group so you can share and reduce the amount of things that you're taking also reduce the weight that you're taking along with you besides toiletries um, another list item is always medicines uh, you know I'm usually my own medicines but also a lot of OTCs because you never know uh, what you might uh, Face when you are traveling and usually because of the exertion and exhaustion you feel a little tired you your muscles may ache so you know general things like a muscle relaxant um, a paracetamol um, not usually cough syrups because I barely use cough syrups not even at home so uh, not those kind of things but general um, you know items like maybe wakes or um, an inhaler um, yeah, pretty much the kind of issues that I have, I'll probably take medicines for those. Definitely something for indigestion because when you're traveling, uh, there are likely chances of uh, you having a st upset stomach because of you know the change in water and the change in, in the climate, everything, uh, all that major change. So definitely a lot of stomach medicines. <clears throat> I would also just generally keep like uh, balms or sprays um, um, meant particularly for muscle aches or uh, you know sprains because I'm kind of prone to those kind of things so it kind of helps me that way. I will also make a list of um, you know accessories that I'll be taking. Uh, usually for me accessories are just like my watch and sunglasses and um, my scarves and you know accessories with my scarves like my pins or something. Uh, usually not too much. I don't count jewelry in because I don't uh, wear jewelry but you know small tiny items of these sorts I will put them down the list and write down exactly everything that I'm taking uh, also I will make a list of the luggage that I'll be taking like what bags I, I need and if I'm going to a shopping destination where I know I'm going to be shopping a lot I will usually keep either an extra foldable bag in my bag or this trick that I've learned from my sister where she packs a smaller suitcase in a bigger one and she takes the larger one she gets that checked in so when she reaches the destination, she's got two suitcases, one with her items and one that she could add her shopping into. Which comes in handy because when we went to Turkey, um, we kind of all of us used that extra luggage from her. In. Although I was carrying my own bag, but I did over shop. Um, <clears throat> so not just that, but also um, my packing cubes, I will write down a list of all the packing cubes that I'll be taking or even the small pouches uh, to put what into what, like a bag, a small pouch for my medicines, a small pouch for my makeup, a small pouch for my gadgets, you know, just plenty of, I, I will write down each and everything. So I know um, that these are things I will be needing, these are the things I'll be taking. And also uh, before I start packing everything, I can just pull everything out and, you know, line it up so I know I can, I, I have a visual of everything. Um, yeah. Um, you know, in my accessories, there are a bunch of things, but I think I'm going to go over my list of things with you later on. I'm just like telling you a little about the categories that I'm taking with me, so you kind of have an idea 
um, and then I have a list of things with my gadgets so things like my phone um, my phone charger uh, if I'm taking my smartwatch I'll probably need a charger for that um, my power bank cameras all these electronically uh, gadgety things I will put them together um, I always I mentioned to you earlier as well always take an extension cord with me um, extension board and now a universal plug as well so those are a few things that I take plus um, I will always carry with me um, a copy of all my documents which includes my passport my visa my hotel reservation my air tickets I will keep a hard copy of this and not just this if I'm traveling to a foreign country I will keep a list of phone numbers uh, for the embassy in that country embassy and the consulate um, and not just the phone number but also like email and you know other contact details uh, and I will also make a list of things uh, I'll make a list of important phone numbers back home so you know in case you've lost your mobile and you need to get in touch with somebody back home uh, you have the number handy if not you have it written because I don't really remember anyone's numbers any one of my important people's numbers I just I'm so dependent on um, you know my mobile that I just you know, don't remember the numbers so that's it um, and well um, these are like a bunch of things that I have to take but then there are also things that I need to do um, like I will make a list of things that I do not pack when I'm actually packing and you know some things are like um, left for the last to pack things that you will be using to the last moment like your phone charger because I prefer charging my phone until the very end so that I have like a full battery when I step out of the house and I don't have to worry about my battery running out sometime between my journey um, keeping in mind that the next time you will probably be charging your phone is after you've finished all your stopovers, your layovers, and uh, when you're, you finally arrive to the hotel at your destination, which could be like between 12, 18 hours, could be longer than that. Um, of course, you, you will have a bunch of opportunities where you can charge your phone, but um, uh, this is just like me preparing for the worst case scenario. So um, I will write down all these things that I need to keep in mind or I need to double check before I'm leaving and um, I will tally that list right before I'm leaving so I know I haven't missed anything and if I have I can always just put it back in back because once I did forget my hairbrush um, I had left it out uh, thinking that I would um, keep it back in my bag after I had um, finished dressing up for the airport and I forgot. So um, I just uh, prefer taking doing that whole list thing it helps me done um, and then before traveling there are like a bunch of things that you need to get done sometimes for the visa itself sometimes for other things so I'll make a list of things that I need to get done before I am traveling uh, a few of them are like really really crucial for me uh, which includes um, getting my international roaming on my cell phone uh, arranged fortunately I use a um, uh, service provider that provides me with free international roaming but I still need to um, you know activate it to the country that I'm traveling to uh, I have to, um, you know, um, in instruct my bank um, for international transactions so that they, they're not, you know, they don't block my card if I'm traveling and I have that issue. So basically a bunch of things that I need to get done, I will. So I put all of that down in a list um, just to be sure that I haven't missed anything important and I do not have um, an issue when I leave the country and arrive in a new place, especially about my phone. Uh, also. Uh, I think it's it's pretty safe bet to get your uh, data roaming um, turned on on your cell phone. Um, although I know there are a lot of people there who would go to a new country and buy the SIM locally. But <clears throat> from the time that you arrive at the airport until you can actually get a SIM, um, there may be a time when you're disconnected from everyone and everything. And uh, sometimes it is during that period when you have issues that you need to speak to someone so i would always want to get my data roaming uh, service on uh, the international uh, data roaming service on my cell phone on uh, before i leave a country so that i do not get disconnected from anyone anytime uh, and i can connect wherever i am with uh, people back home so in case i need some help they're available um, I guess I've taken up a lot of time today uh, explaining this. I will come back and explain each category in more detail um, in the future because we still have time before we are traveling and I am still in the phase of planning my trip. So until we actually travel, we have a bunch of days left and I can discuss in detail uh, my categories and my list with you. I can discuss in detail the items that I prefer taking and that I would recommend you to take along because they make life uh, really, really easy. So until I come back next time, which uh, is probably going to be tomorrow, uh, you subscribe to the channel and do not forget 
to uh, click on the bell icon um, so that when I come back tomorrow you are notified of it right away and if you haven't uh, left a message yet um, I would love to hear from you so you can just you know drop in a hi or um, you could give me your own uh, tips on traveling what is uh, something that you do uh, when you're traveling um, I would love to share it with the others as well and um, um, I would love to hear uh, from you how you enjoyed this video so until tomorrow bye bye